Now, in order to understand the concept of spare receptors or reserve receptors, let's see this animation first. Now full agonists allow maximal response without total receptor occupancy or we may say that full agonists produce a maximal response without occupying whole population of receptors in a tissue. In other words the full agonists have to bind to only a portion of receptors to produce a full response or maximal response and thus have a reserve of unoccupied receptors which are called spare receptors or reserve receptors. The partial agonists are known to occupy all the available receptors but are unable to produce the same maximal response seen with full agonists or the full efficacy agonist and thus they fall short of producing the maximal effect or we call this a partial effect or submaximal effect. Now some tissues or cells naturally express more receptors than required to obtain a full response. Thus for agonists with high intrinsic efficacy the maximum response can be elicited without occupying all the available receptors present in the tissue. Now the availability of spare receptors for a full agonist or full efficacy agonist depends upon the receptor population in a tissue, the intrinsic efficacy of the full agonist involved and the signal amplification capacity of the system. Now I guess this is the right time to go for the proper definition of a full agonist and a partial agonist. Now full agonist has a high efficacy or a maximum effect or 100% effect while occupying a relatively low proportion of receptors. So for example in this case three receptors are occupied by a full agonist and it has a two spare receptors. A partial agonist on the other hand has a lower efficacy than a full agonist or it produces a submaximal activation even when occupying the total receptor population and therefore cannot produce a full effect. So all the five receptors are occupied with no spare receptors and even then the response is a partial one or a submaximal one. Let's witness a scenario in which we have a full agonist and a partial agonist. The total number of receptors available in each system are 100 for example. Let's say the full agonist only occupies 40 out of 100 receptors or 40% receptors. So the percentage of spare receptors in this case would be 60%. But even then the efficacy or E max will be large one. For a partial agonist the total receptor occupancy is 100% and there is no receptor reserve or spare receptors available. However, the partial agonist will only be able to produce a submaximal or partial effect with a smaller Emax value as compared to the full agonist.